Montana Tech student chapter of Engineers Without Borders, otherwise known as EWB, had taken their first journey to San Juan El Espino, El Salvador. The people of San Juan El Espino area of El Salvador face a lot of difficulties in their everyday life due to the flooding during the rainy season that wrecks havoc on the transportation system. Our job there is to provide some assistance in the fight against Mother Nature. This is a road crossing. Uh, it's where a stream uh, crosses a road and currently the stream crosses through a culvert. However, the culvert is undersized and so the water not only flows through the culvert but over the road as well. And it's resulted in, in years of erosion downstream of the culvert. The job and goal of EWB is to stop the downstream erosion due to the rainy season that is ruining the existing road. Another problem we are faced with is that the local landowner is not willing to sell any more of his land, no matter the impact or cause the road has on the community. The road is a main road for transportation of people and goods, including medical and emergency services, public transportation such as tuk-tuks, buses and school buses, and the transportation of goods to local markets to ensure the livelihood of the locals. This first trip was strictly an assessment and data collection trip in which we were there for a total of 11 days. Here we are, day three, nothing but rain, baby. From the month of May to October during the rainy and wet season, known locally as invierno or winter, an average monthly precipitation is around 260 millimeters, which is equivalent to 10 inches. Almost all the natural rainfall occurs during this time and yearly totals can be as high as 2,000 millimeters, which is around six and a half feet. Every rainy season, the rivers within the area swell to very high levels with very fast currents, leaving the community separated from its school by dangerous waters that they must cross, which prevents 500 children from getting a full education and having a safe environment to grow up in. On the road is the main school for, these, for, for two of these three communities. And so the children walk the road uh, or ride bicycle or sometimes ride horse to the school every day. And uh, you know, if the culvert were to go to, to be washed out entirely, then during, during storm events, the children couldn't get to school. EWB assessed and gathered data for design while appealing to the local governmental entities to get involved financially and technically. We met with the local mayor, Ana Luisa Rodriguez de Gonzalez, who helped EWB locate resources for construction, funding, and the materials and equipment for the construction of the project. Hattie Torgerson led the team with soil sampling. Soil samples were taken to determine the foundation strengths, soil texture, and the grain size distribution. Butch Cabrant and Brad Miller surveyed and came up with the plans of action to fix the current problem. Culvert is undermined every time a big amount of water flows there and the dirt is washed away under the culvert. The culvert is made in sections and as the, the dirt gets eroded away under the culvert, sections fall off down into the hole and the community has been picking up those sections of culverts, it's a concrete culvert, and moving them from the downstream end up to the upstream end. And, and so keeping the same length of culvert, but the culvert has been moving, migrating upstream. So if the road is severed by continuing erosion, then the alternative is a very, very nasty bad road that's gonna take them two or three hours longer, very bumpy, so there's just not really a good alternative to this road but they have so many pressing problems that they don't have enough engineers and equipment and material to go around. And so, you know, we've been asked by the local community, they've asked Engineers Without Borders to come in and help them in solving this difficult problem. Um, so our role is to, to step in where there just aren't enough local resources. Becoming a member of EWB provides students with field experience and the opportunity to travel the world and help people in need of assistance.